Okay, we're back in the field after a long winter and it's a beautiful spring day. And we're working in an area just outside the west wall of James Fort, uh, a little bit to the west of where we found the grave of Bartholomew Gosnold, and uh, just into the southeast a little bit from where we found a later Fort Period well, uh, just outside the fort here. We've opened up about four units in this area, just kind of looking to see what kind of uh, fill we have in the area and how deep we'll need to go to reach our subsoil level. And so far we're going through a lot of overburden that was placed here after the Civil War. Okay, a lot of the things that we've been finding in the overburden to help us to date this are uh, post-dating the Civil War in our early 20th century. Uh, some of the things include part of a uh, shotgun shell casing um, from that early 20th century period, and then modern glass, a lot of clear glass has been showing up in the area. A lot of it may relate to one of the early caretakers that was out here uh, working for the APVA at the time, named Mr. William Leal. Okay, we're just removing the last little bit of overburden in this area. So after that, we'll wet down the site and do a hard trowel cleaning of the area and, and see what kind of features are popping up. And uh, we'll let you know tomorrow how that goes. Okay, after a trowel down of the site that we have open so far, we've got a couple of things that have uh, come up. One of those is a historic looking feature, maybe Fort Period, uh, or a little bit after, uh, that's just right in this area in kind of the uh, eastern side of our site. And then where you see Dan Smith down here working, uh, we've got a more modern feature that has intact brickwork, brick foundation, that's probably part of the, where the uh, Robert Hunt Shrine used to be located. So that Hunt Shrine was set into the earthworks, which would have been just a little bit behind where Dan is, towards where our Palisade Wall is now. And this would have been the steps leading down from that Hunt Shrine. Okay, the other end of our site, the western end, has a dark soil stain showing up that has brick and bone, uh, some pieces of charcoal in it, and it's probably for a boundary ditch of some sort. Um, we've seen parts of it just a little bit towards the river from the site here. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is head to the west and open up more of this area and maybe find more of that boundary ditch and hopefully look for some burials um, near where the Gosnold burial is and maybe look for some structures just outside the fort here. So stay tuned.